interesting. So um, the other interesting thing that um, has sort of leaked out around the same and sort of gives more context to the the Project Muhan is that um, Samsung is preparing to launch a feature for its flagship phones, which allows a similar 3D capture as to what Apple rolled oh, out for their yeah. phones. Yeah, like they're doing what Apple forgot to do. Yeah, the, the point is that, that like, yeah, like the idea of capturing and putting it in your phone and on there, it's like we're a lot closer to having that be one, co like, Think one thing that they want to sell, you want to put out there on the on the floor, on the uh, on the demo floor. It's not like this is a completely um, immersive experience just for consumers, just for like where's the content. So like Samsung wants to be part of that conversation. But so Sam Mobile, not... so Sam Mobile, this uh, uh, Samsung um, uh, watching site, they first found this feature, and it it was in um, it was like leaked. Yeah. in a f an existing phone. And they, they took the app and they sideloaded it onto uh, like current flagship phones, and it worked. So um, there's also some documentation within the app itself that says uh, this content is designed for viewing on Galaxy XR headsets. So that pretty much tells us what... The headset the, the is going to be is called. Be, yeah. yeah. So it looks like Project Muhan is going to be called Samsung Galaxy XR, which, of course, it is. I had heard though that they were tooling with the name even as recently as like two or three months ago. If they really put a lot of effort and ended up at Galaxy XR, then that's kind of pathetic. <laughs> that feels like it's some the most yeah. obvious name possible. Um, it also the leak suggests that the 3D video will be able to go up to 4K at 30. Which currently, the the Apple, the iPhone in, in integration does not do that. Interesting. It's capturing these like home movie, home like memory things mm -hmm. and being able to relive them. And yeah. I, I, I will say I don't ha I don't have an iPhone, so I don't have access to that feature. But I know that if I had it on an Android device, and look looks like I will, I would absolutely be using it more. Yeah, it's great.